Hey guys, uh, I think today is the day where we uh, start dealing with this hitch situation, huh? Uh, it's early enough in the morning. It's not too, too hot yet, but it's going to be. This is going to be one of the cooler days in the week, but I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping I can make it. <laughs> I ain't doing so well in this fucking heat. Uh, I'm gonna put a trailer hitch on it. I think I mentioned it in one of the other videos. Uh, pretty damn simple the way it looks. And uh, but before I get into it, I want to straighten out this uh, this flange here. Let's take a closer look at it. She's a little catty wampus. I'm gonna try and straighten that up a little. And uh, because I've been I've been pulling a uh, little wagon. Uh, I've been pulling that wagon right there with it. I, uh, yeah, starting to do a little paint damage, so I want to tune that up because this will no longer be used uh, to pull a, well, a wagon trailer, whatever. Uh, I got a new attachment that's going to bolt on here, and uh, yeah, I'm going to show you what that thing looks like real quick, and we'll move on. What we're uh, going to get into here is that, pretty much. That and a couple of braces that come back here. and uh, See, like, that'll be my new trailer hitch. This will be where my ball goes. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, and then there's a couple of, a couple of arms that come off on either side. But, uh, man, check this thing out. I mean, really, <laughs> I, I, uh, yeah, I, I'll tell you what, I mean, it's probably heavier than what I would have built myself. Um, I don't know what it measures, but, uh, like here's one of the braces. It'll go kind of like, yay. Uh, let's take a look and see how thick it is. I'm thinking it's about 5 16th give or take yeah eight mil I mean it's right there Whoop. let me get past a uh... yeah that's fucking eight mil I mean that's that's five sixteenth yeah framing framing <laughs> Christ's sake um, I mean that's heavy that's yeah they these guys weren't fucking around when they made this thing and uh... I mean, in case you were wondering, I will put a link to it, obviously. I always do. But, uh, I mean, to my door, this was, I think, 63 bucks. There was a... When I finally decided to order it, I've had it in my list for about a year. But when I finally... Well, not a, not a year. I haven't had to track it that long. Uh, what am I thinking? I was thinking of something else. Never mind. Whatever. It's been in my list for a little while, anyway. Um, when uh, I finally decided to order it, it was, it was $5 cheaper than the day I put it in my list. So winner winner but uh yeah that's what we're gonna get on to here and it's gonna be uh the way it looks pretty darn simple i don't think i have to drill any holes or do any kind of uh bs i mean that looks like it's just gonna bolt right up both sides so uh i hope you can see that yeah, no, shouldn't be any fucking around. I got to get up under there, though. Man, I don't know how I'm going to do that, but uh, I will figure it out. Because well, I drill a hole when you can use what's already there, right? And I do believe these are going to line up good enough. So, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to set up here and we're going to get into it. As that uh, Russian hacker guy is always on about, safety is number one priority. <laughs> uh, I decided to change my vantage point here a little bit because, uh, well, I can't fit under the fucking thing otherwise. So uh, I can't get my hand up in here either. I mean, I can start to and then, yeah, right there I'm locked up. So, mm, 
what I had to do. Hope you guys got a pair of uh, really long ones because you're going to need them. Uh, really long needle nose. What I can do then is something like yay. And something like yay. I mean, I'm not getting up there any other way, so. Uh, Hey, food for thought and uh, fair warning. <laughs> You're gonna need a little something, something, or, or hey, a kid with a really skinny hand and arm to uh, get up in there. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's where I'm at. So I'm gonna start mounting these arms. And, uh, and yeah, go from there. So just because the first one was, uh, well, just so much fun to put on. I uh, I decided, hey, I'm going to uh, show and tell this one here. <laughs> it's fun. It does come with all the hardware required. I don't know that it's the uh, highest quality of hardware. I'm betting these are grade three. But uh, whatever, there'll be a Oh, stop dropping your shit. They'll be at least as strong as this back plate. I'm thinking anyway. So I'm not worried. I mean, uh, what are you pulling with it, really? I, I mean, I'm show you what I'm going to pull with it, but, uh, you know, <laughs> thing don't weigh nothing. So uh, it'll be plenty good, plenty strong, I think. Set that there, and... Contortion is me. Who needs three hands when you got two and a knee, huh? Good enough. And That's all I wanted. Keep them loose enough so I can move them around. And uh, that's exactly what I was thinking. Now I need to get them yay far apart. And, uh, huh. I wonder, I wonder. It comes with two different sets of arms. Short ones and long ones. These weren't going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's got to be those. I mean, there's no... No two V's about it. Um, what I might have to do, which is why I'm, I'm test fitting, I'm just mocking up right now. Uh, I might have to get a little ugly with the die grinder. Let me try to loosen that a little. Wampus. But that's probably how it has to be. You have to get this set first before you can even think about tightening those up. And those will, they're going to end up being on a bastard angle then. They're not going to be flat. Uh, let's find out here real quick. Now, once loosen up this side. Like. 
Yeah, I got some wiggle room. Still not enough. No. Oh, yes it is enough. Yes it is. Ah, there we go. That's how we're gonna do it. That's how we have to do it. Uh, here, let me let me stick a bolt in there, and then we'll uh, we'll get a little closer. Uh, it does come with all the hardware, but like I said, it's uh, well, it ain't much. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna break, but it would be nice to have a little more. Wait a minute, did I just fuck up? No, not yet. I didn't. Sorry for my big head being in the way, but uh, I need to see. I got to see before you guys can see. All right, let's take a look at that. Real quick now, Wunst. You kind of get the idea, huh? See how cattywampus that is? And, uh, yeah. This has to go up a little, which is, you know, something I got to deal with down there. I want to straighten that up a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's how it's going to be. Hmm. We'll see what happens when I start to uh, snug this up. I plan on making uh, uh, like a little nylon washers or spacers back there. I'm pretty sure I have some. Uh, just, you know, <laughs> just for so, just because I got them. I, I think I got them anyway. Anywho, uh, yeah, that's what it's looking like. Wow, this camera has a uh, not so wide lens. This is that uh, ZV-1, that Sony ZV-1 that everybody keeps bragging about. Uh, all I can say is whoopty fucking do. I ain't impressed. It looks good, but uh, I'm gonna do my review on it, and you'll you'll know what you need to know then. But uh, this thing's going back. I'm gonna do a review on it first, but it's going back. <laughs> Anywho, oh uh, yeah, that's well, that's enough show until I gotta get on with the rest of the mods here. Holy shit, uh, I think Sony's taking after fucking GoPro. This thing just, I don't know, shut off and locked up. Well, I mean, it didn't lock up, it, it, it was responsive, but I don't know, the screen, screen went blank, uh, the, uh, the lens on this thing retracted and extended, and then it said it, something about my, my uh, memory card uh, for many didn't complete or some, I don't know, some fucking goofy shit, and it wanted to recover the data. So I hope this fucking, I hope it's there. Because if not, well, it doesn't matter. This fucking thing's going back. But uh, clearly, you know, uh, when you buy the first thing that comes out, you know, you, you just end up with nothing but fucking problems. Oh, I'm so happy I could shit. Anyway, he saw what I was getting at. I God, I hope this fucking video is there. It's going to piss me right off. I'm already pissed, so fuck it. Uh, whatever, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give her a little, you know, give her a little extra, and, uh, we'll get that nice and straight, well, as straight as I care to get it, and, uh, yeah, then we're gonna move on with this. Well, I have, uh, succeeded here in making a mess, but I also succeeded in straightening the divot. Let's see how close I can get here and still focus. This divot right here. I uh, I was going to use a pair of. Uh, can you see that? Yeah, I think you can see that. I was going to use a pair of channel locks, and uh, yeah, give her hell. But uh, yeah, I ain't got the balls. <laughs> uh, I take an actual fucking gorilla. 
something with a whole lot more uh, grip strength than I got. So uh, I got on there with, uh, you know, Z-clamp. Got on like, yay! Z-clamp has a nice, well, relatively flat base. And that got me uh, pretty close to good enough. Like I said, I ain't going for perfect. I'm just going for a whole lot better than she was. Now the last thing I got to do yet is, let's see, uh, I think you can see it. You can see how the, the, how it just, you know, angles this way. She turned a little bit this way. I got to crank her up. Um, <laughs> I'm going to record it because it, it's probably going to be goofy looking, but uh, I, I think it's actually going to work. I have a digging bar. Uh, which has, you know, it'll give me a shit ton of leverage. I'll be able to lift, I'll be able to put thousands of pounds of weight on, you know, force on that if I have to. Um, tractor doesn't weigh nowhere near, so I, I'll never be able to apply it. But uh, by the leverage that I'm about to give, I mean, I would be able to put, you know, thousands of pounds of force on. Anywho, uh, I'm gonna set up here and, yeah, we'll uh, see how it goes. All right, so this is the situation here. Got my digging bar. I don't know how long this thing is. Eh, six feet, I think, something like that. I got it goodly clamped, uh, hopefully good enough, clamped on the top side. I'm using this uh, angle here, angle iron, to uh, Hopefully, hopefully take the whole thing. <laughs> hopefully. Um, it was bent the hardest in the middle, so that's why I attached it there. But then, you know, as, as I'm lifting in the middle, I'm also going to be pulling on, on either side, hopefully e equally or uh, pretty damn close to anyway. Uh, I don't need to give her much, but I need to give her some. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to start uh, bouncing around. Uh, yeah, send of this tractor here, see what, see what moves, see what, uh, well, we're going to see. <laughs> but, uh, uh, I don't know, something like this ought to get her done. So, uh, I'm going to set up and see what happens here. Oh, yeah, she's moving. You know what, I think I got her. Yeah. <laughs> I think we got her. I think. Sometimes it hurts to be this good. <laughs> Sometimes it's just good to be lucky. <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh. Can you see her? I think we got her. I'm not going no more than that. Let's see if I can get a side shot here. See what I mean? We got her, boys. That was not tea bag. At least not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I did expect a little more fight. And having to uh, rig some shit up a little more than I did, but hey, whatever. Got lucky the first time around on everything here, so. Cool beans, cool beans. All right, now, uh, yeah, there ain't nothing to do except uh, clean it up, paint it. I gotta repaint the, uh, uh, the area down in there that's all fucky. 
and uh, start bolting the thing together. All right, so uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I think here uh, you can really see the uh, scuff mark that I was talking about. Yeah, it's uh, completely down to bare paint, bare bare metal. Yeah, bare paint. <laughs> yes, it is, but it's down to bare metal too. Um, yeah, that's. Uh, I'm gonna tune that up real quick and uh, yeah, go from there. Uh, a little uh, primer or paint, <laughs> then primer. How about that, huh? Yeah, go like yay and yay. And uh, I ain't gonna wait too long. I can give her a half hour maybe. I think it's gonna rain. Sure, shit feels like it. It looks like it too. But uh, yeah, give her a half hour to let that dry a little bit and then. Uh, I think I'm just gonna bolt this guy together and call her a day. I think, anyway, we're gonna find out. I'm done. Good enough, close enough. Got a flat spot there in the middle. Not so satiny, but uh, <laughs> whatever. It's got a primer on it, it's got a couple coats of uh, that supposed satin black on there, so um, yeah, fuck it, I'm done. Good enough, close enough. So, uh, all right, time to uh, start bolting this thing together and move on with my day. So, it goes about like that. And uh, that's pretty, that's a lot better. That is Ote. Now, I mean, you always got to use the biggest, most ridiculous fucking tool you got. Because you never have the right one, so whatever, you might as well use the wrong one, right? That's right. Whoa. Just snub this stuff up. Maximum ground clearance. tools for this. I just ain't dragging all that shit out. Hell, they make electric tools for this. <laughs> Still, I ain't dragging that shit out. <laughs> Alright, that's snug. I want to... Loosen this. Same on the other side here. Alright, enough of that. I'll go I'll come back when those dogs shut the fuck up. Just about there. Uh, I snug this up, snug that up. Just gotta do these upper uh, Control arms yet. Control arms, uh, upper brace arm, whatever. The upper portion. Mm. I 
feels good. I like it. Oh, I like it like that. Man, it's still fucking hot out here. Yeah, if you guys don't have a long pair of uh, <coughs> needle nose pliers or something, <laughs> like I said, some kid with a skinny arm and a hand to hold a wrench up in here, well, you're going to have some fun doing this. And I got her. Got to cinch up that uh, big guy down here on the bottom. All right, I mean it is cinched; it's just not tight. enough for you. Fuck me. Uh, yeah, no. Do a close up here. Oh my god. Fuck this weather. I just ain't built for it. Yeah, I know I'm fat, but that ain't it. I've had this problem even when I was skinny in my 20s. That is nice. I like it. I like it. I like it like that. Now, play around with the zoom a little bit. That is not tea bag, huh? Hey, uh, I just thought of something. I did not measure the thickness of the uh, uh, flange where uh, where the ball goes. Uh, it is clearly heavier. Let's see what that measures. Oh my god. Twelve mil. Just a touch under a half inch. That's what it measures. Yeah, just kind of hair shy of a uh, half inch. I like this caliper. I mean, for the... I don't remember what I paid for it. It's a cheapo from Harbor Freight. But uh, it does a fractions. I hope you can see it without the glare. It does fractions, millimeter inches, you know cool stuff anyway yeah she's just under a half inch I mean Christ sake that's, that's some heavy-duty shit there's my ball I uh, like I said I, I honestly don't think I would have built it even this heavy I mean Maybe. Oh man. It's fucking hot out here. <sighs> Alright, well you don't need to see me screwing off here. <laughs> Whatever. Uh yeah, let me let me put this together, get it on the ground and go from there. 
Well, now that it's on the ground, uh, yeah, let's put part A and part, part B together and yeah, go from there. I don't know, somebody uh, cue the tornal music, I guess. <laughs> chicka bow bow. Bow chicka bow bow. Blimo. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I know that it's. Uh... Okay, here. Let me give you a better angle. The uh, trailer tongue looks great. Good and level, good and flat. Uh, stand back here, give you a little wider shot. Yeah, the lens on this, I know what everybody's saying. It really ain't very wide. But, uh, hmm. I have, I'm doing everything automatically, so I, I hope this is all good, usable footage. It's not footage. There's no such thing as tape. There's no feet involved. It's just video. I know I'm guilty of it too, I make the same mistake. But uh, yeah, so there we go. Uh, all right, so I know it'll pull that and uh, it'll stop damaging the, the, the tongue there, the, the, the factory, whatever. That thing's, you know, well, you saw, it's 12 mil thick. I mean, it's damn near half an inch. So uh, I'm not worried about scraping that paint because that, that looks like some real good steel. Uh, that's going to take a lifetime to wear wear down even a little bit, so uh, I'm not going to do anything with that. Metal the metal will be fine, but I guess I should uh, disconnect this and show you guys what I'm. Well, the whole point and purpose of this was one to uh, stop scratching the uh, the the factory tongue there. Um, you know, this will serve that purpose pretty well, I think. And two, so I can pull my other trailer which is a homemade piece of shit, but it's exactly what I need for hauling firewood and, and, you know, just doing shit around the yard here, around the house. All right, I'm going to shut up, and uh, we'll get on to uh, that show and tell. This is uh, what I got to hook up to and pull out of its current kubi hole. Uh, we just went through one hell of a flood and I had to move a little bit of stuff, you know, inward so it wasn't up against the wheels, but pretty much <laughs> after, after the waters had, had receded, that's pretty much what I was looking at. Uh, yeah, I lost some decking. It, it used to be a full deck. Not anymore. So my boards are gone and uh, well, then I got a whole bunch of new firewood just kind of showed up anywho um, we're going to bring the tractor over here hook up to this guy which literally has not moved in at least two years so eh, let's see if the wheels are locked up I don't know I don't think so but uh, hey we're gonna find out huh anyway I'm gonna set up and we'll get into it This pin here she 
don't want to move. Hey, come on now. <clears throat> there we go, a little bit. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give some more of that. <clears throat> Bastard. Probably, huh? You got the idea. Here. quite the end of my world but uh, whatever she's a rusty turd <laughs> he um, like I said ain't touched this thing it has not moved not one it well I don't know it probably wiggled a little bit in the flood but uh, otherwise it has not moved in about two years at least two years I'd say so um, yeah let's go from there huh I do believe, upon closer inspection here, I'm wrong. I mean, <laughs> I know what I saw, but, I mean, th that tire's flat, clearly. Um, but that is damn close. That is damn close to, uh, bam. you know what I mean? That is damn good. Um, much better than I thought it was going to be, in fact. I was sure this tongue was going to be, well, higher than that. Uh, now, I mean, the ass end of the trailer, you can see how it's really hanging. But, uh, hey, that tire's flat. That thing's going to pump up, hey, I don't know, five inches? Something like that. Um, yeah, how about I stop talking and I, I uh, put some air in there. Let's do that now, Vaughn's quick. Yes, indeed, boys and girls. This camera just ain't wide enough. Vlogging is what it's for. Whatever. I need it for making videos, period. Just ain't wide enough. But yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> well, that done fixed her now, didn't it? That looks pretty okay to me. I am, I am very happy with that. Very. Um, well, I mean, you guys see what I'm, what I've done, how I did it, and uh, the end result here that I have achieved, all because somebody did their job right the first time. I mean, whoever designed this, engineered it. Well, they knew what the fuck they were doing. 
And when people think beyond their nose and, and, and spend a little time and effort, the first fucking time, you end up with good products. And this, fuck yeah, this is a good product. I will, of course, of course, always put a link in the description below, but uh, hey, if you want to, uh, you want to do this, well, at least you know what you're in store for. Ain't easy, it's not hard, it's just, uh, hey, it's just a thing. But, uh, fuck yeah. I am, I am happy with this. Good job, guys. I can't remember the brand name, but uh, <laughs> I will put a link to them. Good job, whoever made this. Well done, well done. All right, I think, uh, I think that's enough show and tell. You seen what you need to see, and I've done what I need to do, and uh, I think we're gonna call it a day. One final glamour shot so I can throw, uh, well, I gotta throw, you know, the end of a YouTube video. You gotta put up the, the whatever. The, hey, look at me, look at my next video, that kind of thing. So, here we go. Hey, thanks for hanging out, guys.